Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nelivigi, urologist and andrologist from Nelivigi Multi Specialty and Urology Hospital in Bangalore. Hello, today I will be talking on a very common condition that affects both the males and the females, but mostly males. It is retention of urine or blockage to the passage of urine. As I told, this almost always occurs in the males, but rarely in the females also. So, what happens if there is a blockage to the flow of urine? The patient tries to pass urine, but cannot pass urine. The bladder is full of urine and when he cannot pass urine, this causes a lot of discomfort and later on severe pain in the lower part of the abdomen. What are the causes for blockage of urine? The commonest cause of blockage of urine is enlargement of the prostate. This occurs in elderly males, usually above the age of 60 or more and the patient may have some history of overflow of urine or some urinary symptoms which one day progresses to blockage of urine. So the patient is brought to the emergency room where the doctor finds that there is a swelling of the urinary bladder because of urine. The other causes for blockage of urine are narrowing of the urethra called stricture of the urethra or other blockages because of stone in urethra. Another less common cause for blockage of urethra or blockage of urine is due to a problem in the bladder called a hypotonic bladder or a neurogenic bladder. There are various terminologies. This occurs when the bladder is unable to contract to expel the urine. However, many of these conditions like neurogenic bladder result in painless blockage of urine. Even in diabetes, sometimes there could be painless blockage of urine. The treatment for blockage of urine is the same irrespective of the causes. Catheter is inserted in the urinary bladder and the urine is removed. This gives immediate and dramatic response to the patient and the pain is relieved. And the doctor keeps the catheter in the bladder and depending on the condition, he prescribes some medicine, keeps the catheter for a few days and may remove the catheter and see what happens. The next course of action after removal of the catheter depends on the cause of the retention of urine. If it is prostate, it is treated. If it is because of stricture, that has to be treated. If it is because of any problem in the bladder, that has to be separately addressed. So, retention of urine is an emergency. The patient frequently comes to the emergency room of the hospital and it has to be diagnosed and treated. Thank you.